Hi, welcome to Richard's Reviews. Today's review is Legend of the Fist, The Return of Chen Zhen. Um, stars Donnie Yen and Shu Qi. Uh, it's laid out in the time of world? I guess one of the wars? I don't know. In any case, it kind of introduces a the black mask with the whole kind of like Bruce Lee fighting and stuff like that. So... It's a lot of like different things put into one. Um, Chen Zhen is a character that they they save them fight in the battles, and they went into hiding kind of in, in um, God. Shangri La and in, in that in that place that, with with um, what's his name? Oh, man, I can't remember the name. With Humphrey Bogart and uh, what's the name of the movie? Casablanca, that's what it is, I'm sorry. Something similar to that point. It, it kind of tells a story of them, them hiding out in this area just to get away in this in-between area that, that's combined with everything. So then what happens is the Japanese start to inf- try to infiltrate these people to these spot, these people that are on the run and kill them. So they set up these girls as hostesses and hide them in the, the thing and try to get in good with these uh, the locals um, one of them being Shuki she she's the one that uh, meets Chen Zen and uh, kind of brings out this whole situation where they start trying to kill off people key people and then he's trying to save them and so it's a lot of cat and mouse kind of stuff which was really just kind of dragged on um, some of the fight scenes were pretty good uh, and you know the story just goes. It's kind of like a broken kind of story of different things happening. They show you in the beginning like how he came to be, and then with his legend, and then how he's here now, and then how it's gonna end up with the whole fight ending fight scene. So the only ending fight scene is pretty key. Um, the good is that you know some some good fight scenes. Um, the the action is definitely there. It's a lot of different things. They, they put him through a lot. He's he's tortured at some point, but they do make him seem like Superman. He can he runs faster than they can shoot and attack him at close get get so closer and then attack him. Um, so that's an interesting kind of thing with it. He's he's definitely fueled by by something that causes him to be a little superhuman in this in this type, type of story. Uh, the bad the movie's kind of long. And uh, you don't see him really winning in the middle or the end of this movie because, like, all the people he knows are dying. Um, you know? Uh, it's kind of really sad, it, it, really. Uh, the ugly... Um, the fight, the ending fight scene was definitely dragged on and kind of left no point to it. I mean, um, just to let you know, he, he does fall in love with Shuki, but she gets killed, like, really quickly. And then his fight scene with the, the last boss is, like kind of way too long and then it's like a whole rocky scene because he gets beat up wakes up gets up and then beats him up again so you know it it, it just kind of lacked there i i I don't know um so you know it could have been i guess they could have shortened the movie in some areas but they also left it open to be another movie because it just kind of like makes him like a superhero like he because he does wear the black mask at some point and runs around town and stuff like that. So they do kind of show that at the end as well, too. Um, uh, what you get with this movie, as you can see, has a Blu-ray DVD. Um, slip cover. On the back, they show him in white. It's kind of a scene in one of the other, I think, Bruce Lee movies. He's in. He's dressed in white, one of them. Uh, you see there's like some battle scenes of him running around and stuff like that. Inside is a... Ooh, definitely kind of a special cover there. I don't know if that's what it means what's written i don't read <clears throat> chinese so so the movie itself was okay i did drag a bit in the middle <coughs> score for this movie 2.5 um out of five they try to make it seem like he's a like crazy superhero but doesn't end up really saving anybody because everybody around him dies anyways um so it's more like ironic um but i guess if you like uh old school kind of storytelling movies you know they can kind of fit that in to watch it but i would say it's probably a pass it's not like one of the greater movies but um 
that I get, you know, they do a lot of like storytelling in it that really, I guess, I didn't really catch that'd be more of like fighting all the time. So, all right, thanks for watching. Um, drop a like, subscribe, write a comment, uh, check out the other videos. Uh, also, check out the links below for uh, Anger Matthew for unboxings and uh, Yelp Tube for, you know, Yelp on YouTube. <laughs>